Hi there, Robin here from Expert On, and today we've got something different. Not what you normally see in the Pro Audio, but we also do videos on Marine Audio and ATV and some other equipment, because uh, that's what we do. So here, you've got yourself an ATV speaker. So what do we have? Six and a half inch, all built into a casing, Bluetooth, everything you pretty much want to have basically two feet away from you <laughs> on your handlebars. Uh, what we're going to do today is we'll talk a bit about it. We're going to play it for you as well. You've got options. The nice part is I do like the accessory pack that comes with it because all you need is 12 volts on your ATV and you're going to be fine. Uh, it comes with an adapter so you can take the straps off of the actual unit and you can use a lighter adapter socket that comes included. So at this end here, we've got ourselves a power supply and on that power supply, we're just running our 12 volts off it. But this is the important part. This is included when you buy it it just plugs in so now you can take it off put it on whenever you want um, we're also looking at a complete bluetooth system so i don't have to use the auxiliary cable that comes pre-done up on the front uh, i can if i want to now remember this is the platv 65 vt which they state is 400 watts peak uh, i'm going to say it's about 40 watts Continuous. Now, that's a good 40 watts, not a bad 40 watts. The, the 400 watts is a pretty high number, and they don't really tell you what's going on amp-wise in it, but uh, on a set of handlebars, on the rack mount in the front, this is going to be loud. Uh, it's going to be two feet away from you. They are six and a half inch. They do have lights. They do come with a remote control. Certainly makes it easy and fun to use. Four straps to ratchet it down. Uh, I've seen guys out there put some double side foam tape on one side just kind of like so they can get a better sponge uh, hold down on it. What we'll do is we'll play it for you here. We'll see if it plays. There we go. Your phone's going to be your volume. The amp, once you plug it in, is 100% on. And all you do then is just turn up the volume. <laughs> six and a half inch speakers because the way it's built it does have really good bass people do ask me if they're marine speakers yes if this gets rained on you're fine uh, it's all polypropylene it's rubber gaskets all things that make a real high-end speaker not great make a marine audio speaker in this case your ATV speaker really good uh, the the membrane inside of it everything that protects it from dust is also sprayed with a marine spirit sorry a, a mineral spirit which basically doesn't let uh, moisture through, but does let air go back and forth. So those are all the little things that they do on the unit. Uh, it is pretty shock absorbent. You bang, you know, knock it around real good, real hard. Um, but at the same time, you want to take this, if you're in the north and it's going to get freezing temperatures all the time, maybe you don't take it outside with you. Uh, if it does freeze up, probably that's going to shorten its life dramatically. Uh, outside of that, you don't want to spend a ton of money on these products. They get really expensive. This one's actually really affordable. We'll have links and probably even note the price for it because that's how popular this is. Um, this is what you want to get. If you break it, you're not going to feel horrible about it. It does come with a good warranty, but that doesn't cover damages and stuff like that. The speakers are replaceable. Um, this is basically their marine speakers they have in black. Um, I'm going to try and remember the model number. Uh, PLMR, yes, PLMRX 67s or 68s if you want the lights on them. That's what these are on the entire casing. There is just basically a marine audio amp inside of here, one of their small portable packages. Everything's just kind of put together for you so you have a finished product. Uh, I don't know what else to say about it except that, you know what, it always seems to work for us. Uh, you probably do want to put something on here because it is spring loaded. So if you have something here to hold this tighter together, that would be the only downfall on uh, having a lighter adapter. But at the end of the day, this is probably the best way to get it done. And we'll leave it at that. Uh, I don't think there's much. If you've got any questions or comments or if you've bought one already uh, and you've got any comments, leave them down below. If you've got questions about it, I'll try and get back to you on it. It's getting harder and harder with every video. Uh, but people are always looking at those comments so if you want links to where you can get this we'll have it down below for you and uh there you go see you next time thanks for watching